So I'm going to admit that I am not wearing a bee suit and I'm really close to the beehive right now. So if I suddenly freak out and run away and drop the camera, I, <laughs> I apologize. Because I wanted to get kind of close because something very interesting is going on here. And uh, I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Okay, so I had some people comment that putting the feeders here and putting the honeycomb out here was not a good idea because it might encourage robbing. And what I, I thought I saw robbing behavior, this is slightly after my last video when I added new entrances. I thought I saw robbing behavior because I sat here, because I was paranoid because that, that thought was put into my brain. And it is reasonable, it is reasonable. So that is good advice. Thank you so much to everyone who, who've, who has ever commented on that. Because in the past I've put feeders close by too and people have had, said, said something. So this is one of those examples where I really, really appreciate your feedback and your insight because I'm not a master beekeeper. I, you know, I don't try to pretend like I am. So, um, so thank you, thank you so much. But I got, the, got it in my head that I was, I was seeing robbing or to look out for robbing. So I was watching really closely and I noticed this, this very different kind of bee coming into my hive and I was freaking out because it seemed like there were quite a few of them and they were getting in. So today I was like, uh, so I closed up, well actually I started by closing up the entrances I just made. Whoopee, okay, haha. <laughs> so that right there. That one right there, there, there. I don't know, you can't see it, so I'll try to zoom in next time I see one. But anyway, so I, <laughs> so I closed up these entrances I just made, and today I really freaked out and I closed all but one entrance because I thought, again, I thought that I was being robbed. So I was... So I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm seeing here. So I did some more research and I looked for signs of robbing. I looked around the front. Are there any dead bees? No. I look at the entrances. Is there fighting going on? No. These weird looking bees were just going in the entrance. Even when there was only one hole open, they were just being let in. Like nobody was stopping them. Nobody was opposing them. So I was like, what the heck? Okay, so no dead bees, no fighting. Um, and I observed these weird bees' flight patterns, and they said that, uh, what I read is that the robber bees will usually climb up the side of the hive, and then when they take off, they'll do a little U-dip, because they're full of nectar. So just the opposite of how bees look when they're leaving the hive to go look for nectar. So I wasn't seeing that either. The, the bees were running, they were coming to the edge of the, the little landing strip and just taking off, like normal. So I'm like, wait, 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 I'm not, I don't think I'm seeing robbing here. So I had to do more research. Again, I, I don't know everything to look for. And, and I'll tell you why I don't think I noticed this. I think what I'm seeing is drones leaving and coming back. And now, in my limited understanding, I didn't think drones returned to the hive. I thought they, they left, flew away, and that was it. But I've been reading that if they fly and go to a drone congregation area, or go on a mating flight and it's unsuccessful, they will return to the hive to feed and recharge before taking off again. And I think that's what I was, I was seeing. Because these invader bees were fatter, they had a dark abdomen and bigger eyes. And I was like, those look like drones. And that's when I did the research and realized that, yeah, drones will return to a hive. And I think that's what I'm seeing. Because they were just flying their big asses down to the landing strip, walking right in. Nobody was getting in their face. Nobody was stopping them. So I think I was seeing the drones returning and was afraid that my hive was being robbed. So I've gone ahead and opened up. I'm pretty sure that's what I was witnessing. I actually don't see any of those bees now. So unfortunately, while I'm filming, I saw one earlier when I first started recording and I don't see any more. So I've gone ahead and opened up these, these entrances again. Hopefully the bees aren't too upset by having their, their entrances narrowed for a little while. But I did it because I, I wasn't sure and I figured it was better safe than sorry. So again, is your hive being robbed? Look for the warning signs. Look for weird bees that have dipping flight patterns. Look for fighting at the entrance. Look for dead bees all around to indicate there has been fighting going on, if not actively fighting at the moment. And be aware that, you know, the bees you see, weird looking bees going into your hive, might in fact be drones returning. Okay, so now that I've pointed out my serious ignorance on this topic, I want to talk a little bit about why this is new to me. So I was reading that seeing hive, uh, excuse me, seeing drones and especially drones going off to mate is actually a sign of a healthy hive. And I don't, I think this is the healthiest hive I've ever had. My two top bar hives last year, I think were just holding on by the skin of their teeth. I did see drones inside the hive, but not a ton. 
I was reading that a healthy amount is about 15% of your hive should be drones. Oh, nope, there's a weird bee right there. See, look at that, that fat one. Look, it's just going right in. So yeah, probably a drone. Oh, there's another one. Fat guy, right in the center there, walking along, looking for him, we in. Nobody's fighting him. Um, they're just like, hey, what's going on? And where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, he's not going back inside for some reason. So, okay then. He's looking for a way in. Anyway, so I don't think I've ever had a hive healthy enough to, to have 15% of my population be drones and drones going out for mating flights. Like, I don't think my top bar, bar hives were that healthy. And this hive is doing amazing. Like, next time, I promised that next time I did a bee update, I'd go inside. But today is not a day. I was just inside it the other day. I don't like to go in too, too often and disturb them. But next time I do crack open the hive, I'll show you. They've filled up most of this hive. They at least have partial uh, comb built on every single frame in here. So they're doing amazing. And I've actually never had a hive this full. I've never seen this many bees. I've never seen this many drones going and doing drone things. So I don't know. I think it's ultimately a positive thing that I'm seeing. In fact, it wasn't robbing. So sorry, bees, for confusing and creating a little traffic jam earlier by closing it up to one hole. I hope you'll forgive me. I just want you to be happy and healthy. And and for the record, I did move the feeder. Oh, you can't see it from here. On the other side of that bush, it's at least 25 feet away, probably further. And I do see my bees going to it. So I do I actually need to refill them soon. So yeah, good times, good times. So anyway, thank you so much for your feedback. It is incredibly valuable. That's a, you know, it's like, I don't make money here on YouTube, but what I get is a wealth, a wealth of information and feedback from you all. So thank you and thank you for watching and thank you so much for joining me on this journey and preventing me from doing stupid things.